Welcome back to the Visual Bucket 4.7.0 tutorials. Yay! So if I sound kind of weird, I, I had my wisdom teeth pulled and I'm still trying to get back up on my feet and it kind of hurts to move my mouth, but that's okay. So today we're going to go over command arguments and as well as command arguments, we're going to go over tab completions. The command argument is, let's just say that you type slash game mode. The arguments are all of the stuff that pop up after you type slash game mode. So the creative and the adventure and the survival and all that stuff, that is the arguments that come for game mode. The tab completions are the fact that those words actually show up above the, you know, the little, the little, uh, the, the, the text box thingy. Yeah, those are the tab completions. So we're going to actually learn how to do that in this video. So the first thing we got to do is we got to add a new plugin component command. What we're going to do is we're just going to pretend to make a game. Okay, so our command is game. So when they type game, we want there to be a couple options. The first option we want there to be is for a help. Let's build that first. If statement we need to first check and see if the argument is there. So if they are trying to type something after the word slash game, we need to make sure that, hey, they actually are. So we're going to make a Boolean that is just is null, null. So now we're checking for an object if it is null or not. The object that we're looking at is if the command argument of index one, no, it's zero, it starts on zero. I even told myself it starts on zero. And if you ever forget, these question marks are still here and it says an argument of a command starts at zero. This zero right here, you need to make sure you remember that it starts on zero. Okay, so now we are checking that if it is zero right now, it's saying run this code, but we need to change this mode to be a negate. This is the other way around. So if they say something, we wanna be able to pick it up. Now we need another if statement here. So we need to set this to equal is equal. The first object we're checking for is the command argument in string form of index zero. This needs to be a new string because I was told that you can use new string instead of raw string and it works out a whole lot better. So we're using a new string and the first thing we're going to make is just to help. So if they type game space help, we want it to uh, right now just broadcast the message. Hey bro, this is the help or the game. Perfect. So now when they type game space help, it will broadcast the message, hey bro, this is help for the game. All right, so let's set up another one. So I'm just gonna actually copy this entire thing and then paste afterwards because that's easier, but I'm not gonna let y'all do that because we need practice because practice makes perfect. Wow, that like really hurt my voice. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so here we go. Another equals, another if statement. Change to is equal. The first one is the command argument of index zero because it starts on zero. The second one is a new string. That new string is start. So let's say whenever they want to start, they say game space start. We want it to just broadcast the message. You would actually, you know, set this up to be whatever kind of game you actually want it to be. And you would go, yo dog. I wish I could be like hip and fancy like all the other people in this world. This actually starts the game. Okay, so now let's make another one. Last one. If is equal command argument number zero new string. And this last one, we're going to do a stop. So when they say game stop, we want it to say sad day, please play again. Perfect. Okay, so now these are the three arguments that we have set up for slash game. What we actually want to do now is we want to set it up so that if they say anything besides this, we want to let them know, hey, these are these are not the options. So here's how we do that. We're going to take a boolean and we're going to go with boolean logic. The boolean logic is if this is true and right now it's an and statement and boolean underneath is true, then we want it to do something. But we're going to change this to XOR. So what we're asking is if, here we're, we're going to add this real quick because this is going to make more sense. So this first one is going to be if they say help, the second one's going to be if they say start, and the third one's going to be if they say stop. So let's just... What this is saying, I can walk through this a little bit better now. If they say help and, and, or they say start and, and, or they say stop, we want it to do something, but we want this to be the other way around. So we're going to change this to a negate condition. So now it's, if they say anything besides this, we want it to say, nah, not in this plugin. So now we can actually build this and all of these things would work. But before we do that, we're just going to set up the tab completion because the tab completion doesn't take 
much time and it's actually really useful. So we're gonna come down to plugging components, the plugging components event listener. For the event listener, it is the tab completion. No, just tab complete. We need to actually see what the person has typed in order to set what the tab completion should be. We're going to need an if statement, if equals, because you use equal for pretty much everything. So we need the tab complete get the buffer, which is a string. So the buffer is, is it returns the entire buffer which formed the basis of this completion. So it's just whatever you type beforehand. So we're gonna go new string. What we typed is slash game space. Make sure you put that space in there because if you don't, then it, it doesn't know. So if they type slash game space, we want to come over to the block selectors, type in tab complete, and we want to set the different completions to whatever we want it to do, blah, 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 to whatever we want it to be. The list, we're going to add a new list, and this new list is gonna be full of our stuff. So we had one for help, one for start, and one for game. New string help, new string start, new string stop. So now this sets the completions for slash game to be all of this. So now we can actually just build it, and this should just work. Okay, so now that I'm back in my wonderful 1.18 Minecraft world, reload confirm, don't ever use it, I repeat, do oh do not ever use reload complete on your server it is so bad for every server you could ever play on do not use reload complete i mean confirm don't don't use reload confirm okay so now that i have reload confirmed what we can do is we can do slash game and all of our stuff come up so game help game start game stop perfect so if we want help we see, hey bro, this is help for the game and we can do them all. So slash game, start. Yo dog, this actually starts the game. <laughs> the last one is slash game, stop. And it says, sad day, please play again. And then now let's just say someone type slash game. Nah, not in the plugin because it is not one of the three things that we made. So let's just pretend that we wanted to do a slash game help and then had something after it like start i don't know why start is right here let's see what it does it says yo bro this is help for the game because the argument zero was just up there so let's go change that in the visual bucket and then we will show you all some other things so i realized that was just a really awkward <laughs> transition back to visual bucket so what we are doing is when someone types slash game and then they type slash help we want them to be able to have another option for help we're going to make one that's help space start and help space stop so that they know hey when i tap slash game help start it will actually give them help on the start so now we need to check if the argument index of one is actually equal to anything so inside of our help we want another if statement and this if statement is going to be not equals it's a boolean so we can actually just do this so the boolean is is null perfect so if command argument one which is the one afterwards it's actually two not it, it yes it it, it makes sense to some people apparently so we want to just make sure that this is something so if it is we want it to now check if equals if the command argument of index one is equal to start oh no that's not what i wanted new string start so now what this is saying is when they type slash game space help space start we wanted to say this is the help min you for start but now we need to make sure that this yo bro this is help for the game is only displayed when there is no index one so we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing so we're going to take an if statement you know what instead of an if statement we're going to use an else statement because else statements are awesome so what this is asking is if it is not null and it says start then we want it to do we want it to broadcast this is a help menu for start we want to take hey bro this is help for the game we want it to just broadcast that if there is nothing in index one so we're going to add another index one right underneath here walk through it because it's always good practice Sometimes I wish this wasn't good practice. Stop, so when they say slash game space help space stop, we want it to broadcast the message helping for stop people. Because if you don't know what stop means then. So now we need to be able to go set this up in the tab complete 
event up at the top. So now we need a new if statement because our get buffer just changed. So now if is equal, the tab complete buffer is equal to a new string slash game space help space. We want to set the tab completion, the tab complete event set completions to a new list like we did last time and we've got two this time so we got two new strings the first new string when they type slash game space help space we want them to be able to ask for start and we also want them to be able to ask for stop when they want to be able to stop all right let's build it and just go see if it works so when we do slash game space help space we get just start why did it not give us more? Well, if we type start, what does it do? We say this is the help menu for start. Perfect. So if we do slash games space help space stop, it says helping for stopped people. Yay. So the, the command argument worked, but the tab completion part of it did not work. So let's go back into visual bucket and see what we did. So I think it had something to do with, I, I was using the test over there, but let's see if this now works with not having all of the tab completes and it confusing itself to craziness. All right, slash game space help space. Here we go, start and stop. So now when we say stop, Helping for stopped people, uh, you know, screaming at everyone. Perfect. That worked great. So what we just figured out is that you can't have two tab complete events in your same project or else things go crazy because that's what I had and things went crazy. So awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. This is my uh, shameless self-promotion time. I'm still working hard on a server to let everyone be able to play on. And I think I'm getting really close. So stay tuned for more of that. Once again, please consider liking and subscribing. It makes makes the algorithm work better for me. You know, Visual Bucket's actually like a really, really cool program. So please, thank you. But that is all. <gasps> Bye.